What's up guys? Welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little tips and tricks video on Horde Rush and how to beat the Horde Rush challenges as fast as you can so you can get the super cool Horde Rush wrap. Uh, this is a limited time challenge so of course you want to get this done quick and you know if you don't have a lot of time this will help you out perfectly. So we're gonna go right into a video. I'm with my friends Ducky and Meridian and we're gonna show you how to rack up the most points and finish your challenges with Horde Rush. For the first challenge, we're going to be doing the headshot challenge. You have to kill 500 Horde Rush zombies with a headshot. This one is super easy. You can get it done in two matches if you try hard enough and you have the right weapons. My recommended weapons and what worked best for me are ARs and combat shotguns. These were the fastest shooting and they would hit first try in the head every single time for most of the zombies except for the big brutes. As you can see here, I am getting all the mats I can you know, all the weapons, all the supplies I can before I start the horde rush. You don't need super good loot because these zombies will drop guns and so will the pillars. You can just kill them and you'll get guns along the way. So don't worry about getting a ton of good loot at the beginning and don't panic if you don't get any loot at all. You can actually axe the zombies if you don't get a single gun and the zombies will drop guns eventually. This right here is the center console. This is where all the horde rush zombies spawn around and this is where you want to be right when the challenge starts so you can start racking up those points and kills. Also, if you drop here at the very beginning and open up all the chests and ammo chests, you will get an extra set of points. Opening up chests and ammo chests will give you extra points if you're trying to get your point challenges done and it's a great way to help out your team. As you can see here, I'm abusing the AR because it hits all the smaller zombies in the head. It's a super good strategy and it doesn't matter what color of AR you have, just make sure it's not the heavy AR. As you can see here, this is called a KO streak. You can get tons of these and it'll add on tons of points. Later on in the video, I get around 20,000 points from doing the KO streaks. You would just want to keep constantly killing monsters and keeping your gun loaded. And eventually you'll hit the highest points on your team. The best way to get through this challenge or all the challenges in general is to use spray weapons. Spray weapons are the best because they allow you to just skim through the zombies since most of them are our one hit. One shot weapons like deagles, snipers, boombos, those are not the best weapons to use because their reload time is very long and you don't need that because these zombies aren't super powerful, they're not players, they don't heal. You can just take them out with these simple weapons super easy, just spray them down. As you can see here, I'm using the Clinger's explosives to take out the towers. It is the most damage to the towers and keeps a distance from you and the zombies to prevent you from getting hurt. Now there's one mistake I made here and that's that I picked up the pump. The pump is not a good weapon, you should never pick this up in this game mode. It's a one-shot weapon, which means it takes a lot longer to reload and it can't spam. Like I said, you want to use spray weapons, weapons you can shoot very fast and have high ammunition. This is a good choice here because I switched out the pump for the combat shotgun. This allows me to hit every single zombie one shot in the head except for the brutes, which are around three to four shots depending on if you hit headshots. Boogie bombs are very helpful when there's a big horde of zombies on you because it allows them to stop attacking you and you to get a ton of hits off on them and take them out. As you can see on my mini-map, there is those shards lying around. You want to go get those. We actually didn't get these at first because we didn't know what they meant. But you want to get the shards. They will double your points, make your points go up a lot faster. Also give you a ton of personal points to make you the best on your team. Also, I want to mention that if you collect 10 shards, that's one of your challenges done. As you can see here, I'm showing off the combat shotgun, hitting the nice headshots, one-shotting on all of them, three-shotting on the brutes. Also, as you can see here, I'm getting a KO kill streak plus headshot points. Gives me a ton of points and it's making me catch up to my fellow teammates. That is round one complete, and this is just the beginning of our journey. Now, while these rounds are taking place, you want to collect up as much ammo and loot as you can, try to get as much explosives as you can, and get rid of your heals because you don't really need them. The only heals you'll really need is slurps because those are the only ones you're going to have time to swallow and they give you the most for the time you have to drink them. Also, just a heads up, the first round is going to be stationary, then there's going to be a second part to it, you're going to start moving. Second round is going to be stationary, there's going to be a second part to it, and you're going to start moving to a new location. And the last match is going to be completely stationary and you're going to fight the final boss. 
you gotta make sure that you're ready to rotate and have as much mats as you can. We use the strategy later on and we build above the zombies so they can't see us with their sensors and we can take them out without them even doing damage to us. But we did run into some problems where some of the spawners were spawning on top of the platform making it so they can knock us down which is not good because we were fall we, we were high enough to die from fall damage as you can see here we're starting to rotate and we're starting to move to the next zone or location to get a better angle we don't want to stay in the same place the whole time because it'll be kind of boring so i like how epic games did this and made it so that we move around it makes it a little more challenging the circle is smaller and it gives us a little bit more of an advantage the good thing about this is the storm is only one tick when you're first moving so feel free to lay back in the storm and pick up some loot some ammo because it's not going to do much damage to you unless of course you're hurting also some good advice is you should probably call out your teammates where the zombies are if you need help if you're low because they're definitely not going to be paying attention to your health with all the zombies and stress they're going through that was our first toxic zombie don't get too close to those guys because if you do you're going to get hit with a toxic blast and that's going to start making your health go down rapidly a great weapon to use is the lmg it's just like the drum gun but it has a bigger round and you can use it to spray the crap out of things it also does more damage and it sounds way cooler now the final boss has come and we have to take him down he's got a ton of health so make sure you focus all your attention on him if you do need the extra points though your teammates can take out the boss while you take out some of the other zombies as you can see i'm sitting high ground and it's giving me a perfect angle for those headshots right here i made a huge mistake and i started spamming with clingers i was walking way too close to him when i was doing that and it eventually brought me to my death. Luckily, my teammates clutched the match and beat the boss. Burst SMG is also really good. It doesn't have the best rounds, it still hits nice headshots. Now here is my mistake. I thought the challenge was to hit them from under five meters. So I ran up and tried hitting them up close. This is actually wrong. You wanna hit them from farther than five meters <laughs> because then you're just gonna do damage to yourself and that's not gonna be good. Here's a good tip. When you're stationary like this and you're not moving, these are when the shards are gonna spawn in. These are gonna make your points go up like crazy. So make sure you collect them when they spawn in and keep an eye on your minimap. As you can see, my teammates are up in a sky base Securely connected to the mountain so they do not fall and get broken down by the horde. This allows them to not be spotted and to be able to take them out and rack up good numbers. This game we ran to an unexpected problem, and we were right up against a steep cliff with the storm coming up against our backs. I tried using the shadow bombs to get up, I'm not super familiar with the shadow bombs so I struggled, and I ended up dying in the end. Even if the game was a failure though, we still got plenty of our challenges done and plenty of XP for our level. Mm. Mission failed, we'll get them next time. As you can see, we have a pretty sturdy sky base connected from here and all the way across the map. We're using this to shoot from above and then I'm doing ground damage with grenades and shotguns. Now we found a new strategy, we aren't really destroying the crystals, we're just camping the zombies and racking up as much zombie points as we can. Later on we'll destroy the crystals to get the loot from them, but hitting the headshots of the zombies and getting all the points for XP and other challenges really helps. We tried to save the boss so we could rack up more points with these portals, trying to get to 150 because my teammates needed that challenge done. So we tried this, but the storm started closing in, and, and eventually, it led us to our inevitable defeat. No way. Are you serious? No, no way! You can't be serious! Guys, you, can't you are be so serious. dumb. You can't Why? Be serious. Why? <laughs> Who why did, did we, why wait. did you do that? I know, why did you do did that? I, what was the point? Did, <laughs> why did you Mission failed. We'll get him next time.
Why would you build that? <laughs> lesson from the last boss fight. This time we're gonna go straight for the boss to finish the match. Go for the boss, just go for the boss. We need this done. Don't even go for anything else. I got you. Uh, I, I, I'm a As you can see, we're all focusing our attention on the boss because I'm finishing three challenges in the last fight. I wanna get this multiplier. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. No, get it, get it, get it. Go, go. Here, here, here. Don't, don't kill him yet, don't kill him yet. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna get that. GG's boys. Look at this I beat no. all my challenges. I got all my challenges. How much points did we get? Oh my gosh. My personal scores. 81,000 is my highest. Jesus Christ. 90s. Oh, I got 97,000. I got 97,000. I'm I'm second. I'm second on the leaderboard. This is how you get the new Fiend wrap in one hour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game mode. I sure did. It was really fun. I want Fortnite to make more of these zombie game modes. They're really nostalgic and bring me back to old fun games I used to play a lot. But yeah, guys, I hope you like these new style of videos. I want to start shifting towards this kind of stuff. If you don't like that, please tell me down below. Don't dislike the video. If you do like this content, however, like the video, subscribe, and comment down below if you do want to see more of this content. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.